Hello CSI 135 section 400 users. Just a quick tutorial here on some of the commands that we're going to be looking at in chapter 5. As you can see I'm currently logged in as a student and right now we're going to display the ls command. If you remember from the reading, ls can be used to display the files that are in your home directory or in any directory that you move into. If I were to move into the temp directory by typing cd space forward slash temp and then typing ls I would also see a list of all the files in the temp directory. In order to see any hidden files I would use the minus a option with ls so ls space dash a. As you can see there are a few hidden files and we can tell that they're hidden files because they begin with a period. I'm going to clear the screen. The cat utility the cat utility can be used to display the contents of text files. So if I type ls, I see we have a number of files here. If I type cat space hello2, the file is empty. If I type cat space hosts.1, you can see that I have a copy of what appears to be the slash etsy slash hosts file from the class system. I can also remove a file as long as I have permissions with the rm command. So if I copy hosts.1 to my hosts and then I decide I don't want to keep the file my hosts, I can delete that by typing rm space my hosts. And as you can see the file is now gone. If the file is longer than a page, you can use the more and less utilities. So if I cat not junk to see what's in there, I can see we have the date. And if I were to create a file that was longer than a page, if I copy the Etsy hosts file to my hosts, if I cat out my hosts, whoops. If I cat out my hosts, you can see it's almost longer, so we're going to edit this file really quick here. And I'm going to do, and I've just made the file a lot longer than it was. It's now 78 lines long. So if I was to type in more my hosts, you'll notice I'm only 46% of the way through the file. If I hit the enter key on the keyboard, it goes a line at a time. If I hit the space bar, it goes a full screen at a time. Less works in a very similar fashion. If I type in less space my hosts and hit enter, as you can see, going a line at a time as I hit the enter key, space bar, and you'll notice when I do less, it tells me it's ended here. You want to type Q to get your command line prompt back. The host name command will display the fully qualified domain name along with the host name of the system. The copy command, as we saw previously, could be used to copy a file. So if I want to create a copy of my hosts and call it my hosts 2, that's the command that would do that. And again, ls will show me. And here are my two my host files. My hosts and my host 2. If I want to rename a file, I can use the move command, which is just mv. So mv space my hosts and the new file. Let's say I want to call it old underscore hosts. Now when I type ls, you can see that I have the file old underscore hosts and that my hosts two, or I'm sorry, correction, that my hosts, which was previously here, is gone because we've renamed it. We've moved it to a different name. You can also use the grep utility, which stands for Global Regular Expression Print. And grep allows you to match patterns within a file or within a series of files. So in the file my hosts2, which is still in this directory, if I type in grep vader and then type in my, oops, my hosts2, you'll notice that grep will match and print for me every line on which Vader is contained. 
or on which every line it appears. And that's how you would use grep. Now I can also use grep on multiple files, so I can grep Vader, and if I use an asterisk, it'll actually show me the name of the file that it found it in, and then the pattern that it matched. And again, this is just the ba these are the basics of grep. Grep is far more complex than this. All right, head and tail. Head will show me the top of the file. So if I do head old underscore hosts, I get the first ten lines. If I do tail my, oh sorry, old underscore hosts, I get the last ten lines of the file by default. You can also use arguments so if I typed in head minus two old underscore hosts I'm only shown the first two lines of the file and finally in the first set of basic utilities we have the sort command so sort allows me to take a file and to sort it and I can sort it numerically or I could sort it alphabetically so let's create a file called days so if it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whoops, Saturday, Sunday. Now you notice the numbers that show up there, those are from the .exrc file. They're not going to appear. So if I were to type out days, you'll see the numbers do not appear. So if I was to type in sort days, you could see that the days have been sorted out. If I typed in sort minus r days, it will sort the days in reverse order. And this is the first set of utilities that we're going to take a look at.